everyone, welcome back. It is time once again for Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. I think by now we all know what the 21 Days of Beauty is all about at Ulta Beauty for these 21 days beginning this Sunday, March 12th. Yes, March 12th. Every day, Ulta is going to have some great deals on some of their best-selling products. There are going to be daily deals, online and in-store, and also online-only deals. I do believe Ulta offers free shipping on their daily deal, so I don't think there is a minimum spend in that case. Usually, I think it's a $50 minimum spend to get the free shipping. And a lot of these are repeats from last fall or prior years. There are some first-time beauty steals for this spring event. And what I'm going to do today is run through. I do not have the actual catalog this time. Usually I get it several days in advance, but this time I did not. So I just printed out what I found online, listing all of the daily deals, letting me know what's online only, and also what is a first time beauty steal. So I am going to try to keep this video very brief and concise and only share with you the things that I think are truly worth it. I think by this point, there's a little Ulta 21 Days of Beauty fatigue, for lack of a better word, or maybe there is a better word out there that I'm just not thinking of. I mean, I do enjoy the sale. It is a good opportunity to stock up on some staples if they are a steal of the day or online because the discount is pretty darn good. Usually it's anywhere from 20 to 50% off. The item is anywhere from 20 to 50% off. And that's pretty great because makeup, as we all know, and skincare, as we all know, does not go on sale very often. So there are some things that are going to be available during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty that I have not tried. So I can't recommend them or tell you not to get them because, well, I don't have experience with them. So again, I'm just gonna run through each daily deal and tell you if there's anything that I think is truly worth buying or if you should pass on it. So let's just hop right into day one, this Sunday, March 12th. I'm going to try to put this video up at least a day or two before the event begins. So what I'm seeing here is that the MAC Pro Longwear paint pots are going to be $12.50, which is half off of the original price of 25. This says that it is online only. That deal is online only. Of everything that's being offered that day, it's really the only thing that I would truly recommend. A lot of people use the Pro Longwear paint pots as an eyeshadow base. Unfortunately, I have never been able to do that simply because my lids are so oily. I actually do need a separate or specific eyeshadow primer. But for those of you who do not have excessively oily lids, the paint pots are great for, well, wearing as eyeshadow. There are some shades that work lovely as an eyeshadow, but some people like to use them as primers for their eyeshadow, and they have very, very good luck with them. So at $12.50, that's equal to what you might pay for a Maybelline cream eyeshadow at the drugstore. So that is a very, very good price. And then you've got a couple of products from Peach and Lily the matcha pudding antioxidant cream and the power cocktail lactic acid repair serum. Now that sounds interesting to me. I think I wanted to get this last time and either forgot or just didn't end up going online that day. The fact that you have to go on the Ulta website and place a separate order each day to get the daily deal is a little bit frustrating but I don't really see any other way for them to do it. I was thinking, what if you just added it to your cart and then at the end of the week you were able to order everything, but I guess that's not their intention. They want those products really pushed out and purchased on that day. So unfortunately, you do have to remember to either go in store or get on the Ulta website to place your order to get the daily deal. So if I remember on Sunday, I will try to get this Peach and Lily Power Cocktail for $25.50. And if you have used this product, let me know in the comments if you liked it, because yes, I know I often influence you, but you can also influence me if something is truly great or truly horrible. On Monday, March 13th, 
one of my absolute favorite products is going to be half price. It will be $44.50 down from the regular price of $89. And as far as I can see, it is not online only. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is such an incredible moisturizer. It's lightweight yet super hydrating. It plays nicely under sunscreen and primers and makeup. This is a moisturizer where anytime I stray from it, I always end up going back to it. A first time steal on Monday will be the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick. I have a couple of these. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't reach for them that often. It's not because they're a bad formula or bad colors. It's just, I don't know why, I just don't reach for them that much. So I can't strongly recommend them, but I'm not going to not recommend them. If you happen to be in the store that day, I would probably, if I happen to be in the store that day, I would definitely check out the Vice lipsticks because they will be just $10.50, which again, is about where drugstore prices are these days. The REM Beauty Midnight Shadows Eyeshadow Palette. That's a no for me. Even though I have not tried the eyeshadow palettes, I have tried a couple of things from REM Beauty and I just wasn't that impressed by them. Let's move on to Tuesday, March 14th, day three. Some cruelty-free brands, Beekman 1802, Teamy Blends, Patchology, Euphoria, Select products will be $7.50 to $30 versus $15 to $60. Those deals will be online only and they are first time steals. Of all of those brands I've just mentioned, I really have only tried the um, Euphoria blush, which I do like. It's very cool. It's a very cool product. It's a liquid. It works with your undertones and your body chemistry to create your perfect blush shade. 50% off nude sticks, Nudies Bloom, Matte Luxe Bronzer and Glow. This is select stores. That's interesting, I've never seen that before. Um, hmm, maybe not all stores carry nude sticks? I don't know, all the ones I've been to have carried them. They will be $17 versus $34, and that is amazing because I have to be honest with you, I don't think these are worth $34. I do think, however, they are worth $17. These were not sent to me. I purchased all of these. I have um, Naughty and Spice. I have Beach Babe. Okay, apparently I have two Beach Babes. Why? I don't know. This one is my favorite, Sweet Peach Peony. And I would swatch it for you, but I just opened it and this is what it looks like. So, hmm. I have never had one of these do that before. There is a possibility that it ended up in the heat somehow over the year or so that I've had this. That does happen here in Las Vegas in the summertime. When I order products, I have to make sure I know when they're getting delivered so I can bring them in very quickly because if they sit outside for any amount of time in that 110 degree heat, they are going to melt. Usually I try to avoid ordering anything that could potentially melt during the summer, but sometimes I have to, and what I will do is take the package in before I even open the product, I will put it in my refrigerator for a little bit before opening it. Okay, up next is Wednesday, March 15th. I feel like I need to speed this up. I am talking quite a bit. Stila liquid liners. These have been part of Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty for so long. I used to be a rep for Stila and a trainer for Stila. I think I started with Stila in 2014 or 2015, and oh my goodness, those liners flew out the door during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. They will be just $12. Ooh, the Lorac Pro Eye Palettes will be 50% off online. I used to love those palettes. I think I may order one because all of mine are really, really old and I may have decluttered them already but I used to be crazy about those Pro palettes. They had such an incredible formula. They were really buttery and the shimmers were really vibrant. I think I might order one just to see if it's the same quality. Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme and Maximum Plump. I do like these plumpers, but you have to be able to tolerate a little bit of the stinging because I feel that they really do sting your lips to the point that some people might find it painful, but they work. So those will be $14.50 to $16.50 versus $29 to $33. And as far as I can see here, that is not online only. Wait a second, did I skip a day? Yes, I did. 
So the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme and Maximum Plump is Thursday, March 16th. Friday, March 17th, the Clarence Double Serum will be $45 versus the regular price of $90. I have not used this serum, but I have to tell you that over the years that I have been in the beauty industry, people have raved about this serum. I don't know how well Clarence does with their makeup because I've never seen anybody really promote anything other than their lip oils, but I have heard people speak very highly of the double serum. This might be the year that I actually give it a try. Ofra highlighters. Ofra makes some of the best highlighters on the market. I think they are so underrated as far as in the influencer space. In the working makeup artist space, I often see them being used on celebrities and models, in makeup artist kits. I have a couple of them and I think they are fantastic. So I would definitely recommend checking out the Ofra highlighters. Rodeo Drive is stunning. I have also been obsessed with the Start Inspired shade by Samantha March ever since it launched several years ago. So definitely take advantage of that. They will be $14.50 to $20 versus $29 to $40. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear and Tinted Brow Gels will be just $11 online on Friday, March 17th. On Saturday, March 18th, day seven, It Confidence in a Cream will be $26 versus $52. That is online only. I don't personally use this, but my sister loves it. She has more normal to dry skin and I'm very oily. Yeah, she loves it. In fact, I had a couple of jars here that I had been sent as PR and when my sister was in town a couple weeks ago, she went through my bin. I always have people go through the bin of product that I can't use before I go and donate it. I like to see if any of my friends or family want anything and I had two things of the It Confidence in a Cream and she took both of them. She was like, ooh, gimme, I love this. So yeah, it might be worth checking out, especially at that price of just $26. Benefit Cosmetics Blushes, <gasps> they will be $15.50 versus $31. First time steal. I love them all. When they first came out, I think I bought three full size and a couple of the minis. They're so, so good. That's a great steal. Then you've got the Beauty Blender Bubble Sponge for $10. What is the bubble sponge? I gotta look that up. Beauty Blender Bubble Makeup Sponge. It looks like it's just a regular beauty blender. The reviews don't look so great though. It has 3.1 stars with 35 reviews. And the regular beauty blender has four and a half stars with almost 1,200 reviews. One of the first reviews that pops up for me says that the blender started tearing and deteriorating faster than the regular beauty blender with no change in frequency or intensity of use. But then the next one says the best. Love, love, love the beauty blender. I have tried other brands. No other gives the same results. I also use the case and wash my sponge daily with the beauty blender cleanser. Next one is love mine. Then the next one is not my favorite. I love beauty blender and bought this because of the cute color. As soon as I started blending my concealer with this blender, it absorbed most of my makeup and left it looking very texturized. Worst beauty blender I've ever bought. I don't know what to say about that then. Maybe stick to the regular beauty blender. Ooh, if you have oily skin, you are not going to want to miss Sunday, March 19th. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation will be $24. It is a first time steal. Yes, that is amazing. Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation is one of my holy grails. I absolutely love it. If you have normal to combination to oily skin and you need your foundation to last for hours and hours and hours, this is an incredible product, I feel. I've been using it for years. You definitely want to use a beauty blender, maybe not the beauty blender bubble, but you want to use a beauty blender damp to apply this foundation. Otherwise, it can look pretty heavy. Some people might even say cakey. There definitely is a learning curve to applying that foundation, but once you've learned to apply it, correctly, I think you're going to love it. My usual shade is Tawny, which is 3W, I think. Ooh, Sunday's a good day because the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz will also be $12.50. That is a product that I have used and loved for years. My all-time favorite brow pencil is the Hourglass Arch Brow, but I would say that the ABH Brow Wiz is my next favorite. On Monday, March 20th, there's nothing that's really catching my attention. 
although there are two first time steals, the Kopari Sunshield SPF 50. I'm always interested in trying a new sunscreen. This will be $19.50 versus the regular price of 39. And then there's also a nude stick sunscreen that will be $18 versus 36. And then Stila's Heaven's Hue highlighters will be 17 down from 34. I have not tried those, but as I mentioned earlier, I have tried the Ofra highlighters. So if I had to tell you which one to go for during this event, I would recommend the Ofra, only because those are the ones that I've tried and I think they're fantastic. Tuesday, March 21st, let's see. Beekman Milk Drop Ceramide Serum, I have not tried. Urban Decay Shadow Sticks, I have not tried. Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush. These are a first time steal. They will be $12.50 down from the full price of 25. Those are good blushes. Wednesday, March 22nd. I don't see anything that's standing out to me that I would recommend, but it looks like some Juvia's Place products will be half price, online only. I really like the blush duos. I really like the eyeshadow palettes I have from Juvia's Place. They're very high quality and at half price, that's a really good offer. So if you've been wanting to try Juvia's Place, you'll definitely want to look on the Ulta Beauty website on Wednesday, March 22nd. Thursday, March 23rd, the Dr. Brandt Pore Primer is going to be $24 versus $48. I have heard really, really good things about this primer and I'm someone who tests almost every primer that comes on the market, especially if it claims to smooth or reduce the look of your pores. For some reason, I have not tried this one from Dr. Brandt. I should have been doing this all along, circling the products and the days that I want something. On Friday, March 24th, you can get the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara for $14. Personally, I think that mascara is just okay. The Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Lip Glosses will only be $16. I'm circling that. I only have one of those glosses, but I love it. The Crepe Erase Ultra Smoothing Neck Repair. That's online only and a first time steal. I think I might get that. It will be $39.50 instead of $79. Saturday, March 25th, the It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination Cream. People love the It Cosmetics CC Cream. It's never worked for me. None of the formulas ever, ever, ever. So I'm not going to recommend it, but if it's a product that you use and love, it will only be $22. Ooh, here we go. It brushes, all airbrush foundation brushes. It's a first time steal. They will be 50% off. You have got to get the number seven Heavenly Luxe brush. Hopefully that's included in this because that is my favorite brush, maybe of all time. Putting a star by that. On Sunday, March 26th, you can get Max Fix Plus for just $15.50. I am starring that as well. I can never have too much Fix Plus. I don't use Fix Plus as a setting spray because technically it's not a setting spray, but I use it to dampen my brush when I use eyeshadows damp. And I also like to use it after I have put on foundation and powder in order to make the look be a little less heavy or cakey. Of course, I try not to apply my makeup to look heavy and cakey, but something about the Fix Plus just makes everything sort of mesh together and look even more natural. Oh, I got excited for a second. It says MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix. I thought they were gonna say the liquid was going to be on sale. I love the Studio Fix fluid, but this is the Powder Plus Foundation. I haven't used that powder since the 90s. Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps will be $10.50. I do like the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps. Oh, the Persona Super Blush. Yes, yes, yes. I don't need to star or circle that because I already have them all. I love them. They will be just $11. And again, that is on Sunday, March 26th. On Monday, March 27th, let's see what they've got here. KVD Beauty Tattoo Pencil Eyeliner. I do not have that, but I have heard good things. I'm always looking for an eyeliner that stays on, although my favorite liners that stay on are from Persona. Those do not budge. Ooh, the L'Occitan Almond Shower Oil 8.4 ounce will be $14.50 versus $29. That too is a first time steal and it is not online only. I really like that oil. Okay, on Wednesday, March 29th, the Exuviance Peel. 
Yes, that is a great, great product. I've actually done videos on that product in the past. It's so, so good. I am going to pick that up because that peel really does work. The regular price is $79 to 86, and during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, it will be $39.50 to $43. On Thursday, March 30th, the Benefit Professional will be $17 instead of $34. I have a love-hate relationship with that product. Actually, maybe I should say more of an indifference to that product. I think it's okay. Not great, not bad, just okay. Everything else on that day, I'm just not familiar with, like the Saint Tropez Water Face Mist, Nabla Eyeshadow Palettes, Glam Glow Bright Eyes Eye Cream. Friday, March 31st, ooh, Morphe Ariel Brushes. The Morphe Makeup by Ariel Brush Set is one of my favorites. I use brushes from that set all the time. Love them, can't live without them. $5 to $49 versus $10 to $98. To me, that means, because the full set is $98, that you will be able to get the full set for $49. That is incredible. I'm gonna buy more. And on Sunday, April 1st, which is my son's 19th birthday, there's nothing. Okay, not nothing, but nothing that stands out to me, except maybe this Strivectin Tighten and Lift Neck Serum Roller. Not sure what that's all about, but it sounds good. Again, anything to lift and tighten my neck, I'm willing to try. But also on this day, if anyone is interested, Clinique Cleansers will be half off online only, and Kylie Velvet Lip Kits and Eyeshadow Palettes will be half priced. That is a first time steal. I do have some Kylie Cosmetics products, but they're just, yeah, not great. So, what I'm going to do in the description box is list all of the products that I know for certain that I recommend you check out during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. If it is not listed, that doesn't mean it's not a good product. It just means that I haven't tried it or it's not something that I myself am currently interested in. So I hope you found this video helpful. Every season or every time this sale comes around, I do like to do my videos a little bit differently, but there's only so many different ways you can present this information. So if you did enjoy the way I presented it this time, please give the video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments. And of course, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and join the Risa Does Makeup family. I do upload new videos at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me over on Instagram and TikTok. The username is the same. It's Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.